Hi, this is David with Froggy Fly, and I'm going to go over the Stripe Subscriptions plugin with Gravity Forms 2.6 and higher. Uh, the videos that are currently on the website, and I think accessible right here on the uh, Gravity Stripe plugin, are the old ones. So I'm going to go ahead and get these updated, and uh, that's why I'm shooting these new videos. So I'm really Sorry for the, the delay in getting these to you, but here we go with the newest update. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do a start to finish setup with Gravity Stripe with all the settings in between, and then I will do separate videos for each individual setting and, and uh, maybe some scenarios in which you might want to use those. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, the free version of Gravity Stripe gives you the ability to add the subscription area to a page using a short code. It looks like this down here at the bottom. So you can add this to a page, any page on your website, and once a user logs in, they can log in and see the subscription that they've signed up for and the details of that. So the information that they'll have in there, which I'll show you in just a minute, is uh, when their next billing is, the amount that they'll be billed, um, and then they have some, uh, a few different options as far as what they can do. So they can go in and they can cancel their payment. Um, and they can, but they can't do anything else such as upload or, uh, updating card information and all that sort of stuff. So you're going to want to make sure that you figure out, do you just want to give access to cancel their subscription or do you want to give them more access? If you want more access, the pro feature is, or the pro uh, edition is probably what you want. And you can go to gravitystripe.com to be able to get that uh, pro version. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm not going to start with the free version. I will do the pro version, but I'll show you just the free features while we're in there. So here I am in the back, back end of a website. I've already got uh, Gravity Stripe installed, but here's the different plugins that you will need to be able to manage your Stripe subscriptions through Gravity Forms. Number one, obviously, you're going to need to get Gravity Forms. Uh, as of right now, this is only set up to work with the, I think, the Elite version and the, the middle version or the middle option uh, when you go over to Gravity Forms. The, the lesser option, the basic version, doesn't come with the add-on for the Stripe, so you want to make sure that when you buy Gravity Forms, Buy the one that includes the Stripe add-on so that you can then get Gravity Stripe set up on your website as well. Otherwise, you'll be wasting money. The next thing that you'll need is the Stripe add-on itself. And uh, again, it just depends on what you need. If you just want users to be able to cancel, go with the free version from the repository. If you want more features, then you're going to want to get the pro version. And then the next thing that you're going to want to get is you're going to need the, uh, where is it, the, the uh, Stripe add-on. Oh, sorry. Um, you'll need Gravity Stripe, which is right there, Gravity Forms, and the Stripe add-on. So those are the three ingredients that you'll need to make this all work. All right. Once you get those installed in your website, you're going to want to go ahead and create a new form. So I have uh, just created a new form called Gravity Strike New. And the basic fields that you need to add to the form are your first and last name fields, your account email, a subscription amount. You can do monthly subscription. You can actually hide this field. So if it's something where people are going to be signing up, they already know what the price is, uh, you don't necessarily need to display it in the form itself. Then you can uh, hide that field and then just have a total that shows $25, right? In order to hide this field, if you go in, click on the uh, field itself, go into appearance, and then uh, you, or excuse me, go into general, and then hidden, and that will go ahead and hide that field. It'll still show up as $25, so you'll still have a $25 total, but the field itself will be hidden. And I'm just going to keep it as a single product for now. All right. After you've got this set up, you'll, you'll probably, if you haven't set up your Stripe feed already, once you add your, uh, once you add your credit card option in there, 
and you'll need to set up your Stripe feed first. To do that, make sure that you have the add-on installed and then go up to settings and you will see the Stripe option. And right here, it'll tell you to set one up. So go ahead and set one up, call it whatever you want. And you need to make sure that you set up your transaction type as a subscription. Give it a subscription name that might be noticeable to the, uh, to the customer. So you don't want to call it something internally that if they see it show up in a credit card statement, it's not going to make any sense to them. So if it's monthly support or something like that, make sure you put that in here. Or you can put you know, your business name. Uh, so Frog Eat Fly monthly support or uh, FEF monthly support. Then we're setting it up so that the total is going to be the form total. My billing cycle is set up to be one month. I don't have a setup fee added. I don't have trial uh, period added. I don't have any of the billing fields in here. Uh, at minimum, what I do typically recommend is get a zip code. And then uh, that way Stripe can go ahead and uh, run a, a uh, test against that zip code to make sure that that zip code is actually assigned to that card. I've got account email. I don't have a description. And then I've got it connected to my, my uh, Stripe account. Okay, so I'm gonna save these settings. And now at minimum, I've got a form set up, a subscription form set up, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do next is go into Stripe subscriptions. And I'm gonna grab this. This is all the uh, different subscriptions that are going through the website that we've tested. But what I need here is I need this user subscription form ID shortcode. So I'm just gonna copy that. And the way that you get here is click on Stripe subscriptions on your sidebar and you'll be able to access that. And I'm gonna go into a page, just add a new one here. Close this. I use Beaver Builder for all of our WordPress stuff. So I'm gonna launch that. If you don't know about Beaver Builder, it's a drag and drop builder, really powerful, really easy to use. And then we also add the ultimate add-ons uh, modules to it as well. And the reason I really like that is because it has a Gravity Forms styler built into it. So it makes it, makes it a lot easier to use. For this particular thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add an HTML module, add this, and it is form ID 26. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that. And you'll see I've got my ID, the subscription, start date, renewal date, amount and term, status and actions. So that's the minimum of, of what this shortcode will add. Okay, once we start getting a subscription in there for my account, once I subscribe, then you'll see it show up here. All right, so next, let's go ahead and go into the back end again. And I'm going to create a new page. Go into Beaver Builder. And I'm going to grab the heading module from Beaver Builder and we'll just call this sign up for monthly support. And I'll just say 25, 25 a month. That's just going to be my basic intro. And then Gravity Form Styler, I'm going to drag this in here. And create or add my new uh, Gravity Stripe new. 
There we are. Okay, so as you can see, once I click done and publish, now I haven't obviously haven't adjusted any of the uh, styling of my form, so it so it doesn't look good at all. But you can control with the gravity, or excuse me, with the uh, Beaver Builder uh, options here. You can take out the title, control all your field, background colors, everything like that. So it's uh, it's pretty useful. All right. So I'm going to put in my first name, my last name. We'll just my account email. Price is going to be $25 for this. And I'm just going to grab the uh, Stripe test okay. card numbers. So we'll just test it with this Visa number here. Card number. And then my expiration has just got to be in the future. So I'll do 03 of 23, 123, and 22222. Two, two, two. That would do uh, David Bentley. And submit. All right, so inside of my forms, we should have one entry here. So we'll just look at our entries real quick. All right, so my total is $25. And let's just look at our settings. Confirmations, if you wanted them to, to go to a different page rather than just showing that information uh, that you saw, you can actually set that up in your confirmations. We can add a new confirmation and send them over to a page or redirect or whatever you want to do. Um, what you probably also want to do here is make sure that uh, that your can that if you have any sort of conditions that they're set up here. And then you want to set up your notifications as well, something just to the effect of, hey, you're now enrolled in your new form or your new uh, subscription. Uh, you can log in and access your subscription information anytime here. Um, now, this is assuming that you are already have the registration plugin set up as well. If you don't have that set up, I'll have to do that in a separate video. Or you can find another one on YouTube, I'm sure, about how to set up uh, registration forms but you can do that in conjunction with your subscription form. So the same information that you've collected for the subscription, you can just have that automatically register this user, and then they will then have access um, to be able to access that page later on where the subscription information is being housed. All right, so now we're just going to go into that page that I set up earlier. Let's see which one it was. Not that one. All right, so because I've already got uh, a bunch of uh, uh, subscriptions under this particular account, you'll see that I've got all my active and canceled accounts in here. Here's the one that we just created for monthly support. So you can see that. And then we've got uh, start date was August 1st. My renewal date is going to be September 1st. Amount and term, so it's $25 per month. And then currently it's active. 
All right, now the settings that I have set up on this right now, I've got a cancel, upgrade, downgrade, update card, edit subscription, okay? Now, if I go back to the back end again, the only th and turn off upgrade, downgrade, update card, and edit subscription, that's what you have with the free version. So the only thing that they can do is cancel their subscription. Uh, if you have upgrade, that's gonna give them the ability to come over to a form where they can do an upgrade. Update card, that's gonna take your user over to the Stripe portal. where they can come in here and uh, edit their card information. And they can even go into their billing area, cancel their plan here. Uh, they can add another payment method if they need to, uh, edit their email information, edit any kind of uh, billing information as well. So that happens right here inside of Stripe. And it will also show them their invoice history. So every time they get charged, it's gonna show them here, they paid August 1st, September 1st, uh, October 1st, and so on. Okay. All right, so now let's go back to Back to our uh, table. And we're also going to look at in the back end here what you have in terms of your admin capabilities. So if you go into Stripe subscriptions, you'll see an entire list of all of your subscriptions on any of the forms. You can, uh, you can edit that to be more granular just by selecting the form. So if I wanna select just Gravity Strike New, I can go in there and then it, it's caching right now, but it'll show me the active subscription for Gravity Strike New. Okay. There it is. So from here, you also have the ability to uh, upgrade, downgrade, you can refund if you want to. You can edit their subscription as well. You can cancel it. You can do any sort of those, uh, those details here, all right? So you do have that admin capability. If you want to add, let's say you've got a manager, uh, you don't necessarily want them having access into the back end of the website, but they still need to be able to access any of the subscriptions uh, to do these same settings within those subscriptions. Then you can set up a manager role and then add somebody to that manager role. And then that person can ac have access to a page where you would add your subscription list shortcode. That subscription list is gonna essentially duplicate what you see here. It will just be within a page that you assign. So now when your manager logs in, your manager will be on the front end of the website and be able to access the same information that you see here, but without being able to access all the features of the WordPress website. All right, so start to finish, that's setting up Gravity Stripe. Uh, it doesn't take long at all. It's pretty simple, even with me talking, uh, it didn't take too terribly long. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out uh, to me at support at froggeekfly.com and uh, check out the free version. Also check out, if you like what you saw here, go ahead and, uh, and buy the paid version. Uh, it's like $36 a month, or excuse me, $36 a year. It's very affordable and it adds a whole lot of features that uh, just don't exist right now within Gravity Forms and the Stripe add-on.